This game is T and is not suitable for kids. Oh, okay. That's right. The first line is the illusionary world stuff, the snow. All right, which route to do next? I think I wanted to try doing the Kyo route next. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's the first decision. We can record our voice over his thing or just leave it there. I don't I don't think that's really going to make a huge difference. Yeah, I probably, probably won't. All right, well, <laughs> we are official. I've decided we're going to try the Kyo route next. Because she's the other girl who, like, actually really interests me. I'll just leave it there. I'm going to try to be the nice guy as much as I can. Okay, so we meet her sister, Yo. Oh, yeah, she's saying, uh, can you please... <laughs> okay, she's... Yeah, we're going to apologize to her. That seems like it would be the right thing to do. Um, we're gonna sit through class. I think that was the right choice. <laughs> there is a Sunohara route. Yeah, I've heard about that. Oh, wow. There's, there's still, I think, two girls that I haven't actually met. Sunohara's sound asleep, blah blah blah. Hey, Sunohara. Grab his shoulders and give him a good shake. Uh, uh. Hey, the teacher just called on you. <laughs> Why are you being a jerk? I didn't record over here. <laughs> you only played one route on this before your PC died. Ah. That's sad. Apparently there's like ten routes in this. <laughs> you have to sing the song from the Takafumi Kaburu. Uh, really? Uh, uh, okay. Why are we being a jerk to him? <laughs> Sunohara jumps out of his seat and stands. Let's go! Oh, we made him sing a different song. Won't you take my hand? None to command. What? He screams out his answer. The teacher turns around, his chalk still held to the blackboard. <laughs> I don't. Here's the thing Sunohara is definitely a jerk, and he's a bit of a lech. But at the very beginning of the game, he seems just kind of like a nice guy, so I always feel bad for like doing stuff like this to him. Huh? Let's go! <laughs> Won't you take my hand? <laughs> Why does he even listen to us when we always do stuff like this? The sound of muffled laughter begins to envelop the room. Huh? <laughs> Yep, we suck. <laughs> Bomb ahead really is the gold standard of hip hop. <laughs> His mood brightens immediately. How he manages to go from utterly bashful to obliviously happy is bewildering. <laughs> I'm broke. The two of us stroll down the hall. Sunohara suddenly leaps into the air as he reaches for the ceiling, apparently showing off how high he can jump. Oh yeah, knuckle bump, awesome. <laughs> I'm dazzled beyond words, let me tell you. <laughs> sure, Sunohara, sure. Mm, sure, how thoughtful of you, because you've always cared so much about that uniform. Why are we getting different dialogue? He's such a loser, I love him. <laughs> Sunohara is definitely one of... Well, the thing about Sunohara that like made me really mad was when he was trying to skin a cat alive. Like, I was so disgusted with him by that. But he is a very funny character, and he is a great voice actor. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay, so now we actually... That's all repeat. Um, let's... Oh, we're gonna... Actually... Yes, yes, he did. He tried to skin Masai's cat alive. 
Or he was planning on it, at least. And then we were like, uh-uh. <laughs> uh, go back. We go back to previous choice. I think we should at least go down to the courtyard and talk to Nagisa. Sinhara probably won't be back for a while. I guess I'll see how she's doing. <laughs> Just leave. I don't want to make myself feel any worse. It's not like I could do something to make her situation better anyway. I can't even keep up my own life from being a mess. What am I trying to do? I laugh at myself and stand. I'm going back. <laughs> I just wanted to see that. I'll, I'll go back. I also do want to do her route, probably last, because hers is like the official route. I sat next to her without asking, and now I'm leaving without asking. See you later! <laughs> Again? I wonder, if, <laughs> I wonder if we'll meet at the bottom of the hill sometime this week. <laughs> On my way back to class, I think about how I'd prefer not to have anything more to do with her. Ouch! Wow! Okay, no, you know what? I can't even do that. No, we're going back. <laughs> I can't even do that. We'll keep talking. I've already done this before, though. I wanted to feel better, though. Okay, we're gonna watch to see how things turn out, I think. Well, for the Kyo route... Okay, we don't have to do anything else for the Kyo route on this day. Escape. I get up from my seat. Ogataki, you no way. It's just hot in here, so I'm going out into the hallway for a bit. <laughs> I hate motorcycles. I wait in the hallway for the whole situation to cool down. The spectators in the classroom suddenly burst out in excitement. Then, shortly after, the entire classroom fills up with shrill cheers. If I were in there right now, I'd probably have hit someone, probably Sunohara, out of sheer, sheer irritation. <laughs> oh, lame. No, we're gonna meet Tomoyo. Maybe she'll be become important to the overall story. I'm not interested. I don't know who this girl is, but I'd rather not be considered among the likes of all the group these groupies of hers. I remain firmly seated at my desk. Sunohara gets off my table and heads straight for the corridor. Where are you going? He leaves the classroom with a faint half-smile on his lips. And just as lunch break ends, he comes back. His half-smile is transformed into a grin filled with confidence. Oh, do tell. I don't really want to, though. <laughs> he starts talking anyway. あいては桜。つまりやらせ。この春からの編入生らしいんだけどさ。前の学校じゃ、よっぽど男に縁がなかったんだろうね。ああ、いや、いや、you're being a bit of a tool. あんな汚い真似までして持てようなんてさ。男だったら焼き入れてるっての。うん、sure. <笑> Seriously, I don't care what you do. Oh, that was that was also lame. No, we're again. We're. <laughs> I want to get all the. Well, there's no way I'll be able to get all the dialogue in Clanad. It's way too big. We meet her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we feel concerned about the girl I met during lunch. Eh, I feel a little concerned. Oh, hi, Masai. <laughs> GD does a 180. <laughs> Ah, I like being able to skip all the previously seen text. Uh, we're gonna keep walking from the old lady. Here we go, it's here now! Alright, all we have to do is uh, hit try pressing for details for the Kyo route. Yeah, she's talking, she's making an offhanded mention about her bike, and we get the second, uh, thing. <laughs> we get the second fortune told. Uh, saves so much time, I know. Uh, that girl from yesterday. That girl from yesterday. That cluttered pile of cardboard boxes. What a cruel sight to see. Don't be late tomorrow. Yeah, I'll try not to be. I wonder how things went this morning. These vague thoughts come to my mind as I stare out the window, chin in hand. Oh, just the second period ends. <laughs> well, uh, do we have to do anything else on the 16th? No, we don't. All right. Might as well go with Sunohara then to meet Tomoyo more. <laughs> boop, boop. Um, what's this for? Sunohara just left <laughs> to train on his own. You're bored. Let's skip class. Oh yeah, here we meet this weird girl. <laughs> uh, 
I still don't know her name, but... Alright, this time we will eat with her. We'll take a little. She's offered her us some of her lunch. She nods with a sigh of relief. I literally have, This girl kind of weirds me out. She puts her hands together and bows. Ah. Uh, hey, I can't do this! It's embarrassing and we just met! Like, of all, of all the girls I've met, she's my least favorite. She's just, she's really weird and not in, like, the endearing way. Like, she just seems like she's in a different universe. Although I will admit, yeah, she is cute, obviously. She doesn't seem to understand what's embarrassing about it. Jeez. The way this girl is acting is unworldly. Oh, I'll just use my hands. <laughs> that wouldn't be weird, would it? <laughs> I pluck a piece of the stew and toss it into my mouth. Oh, I was just joking, but no, he just went for it. I chew furrowly. It's cold, but well-seasoned. Considering this is handmade, I think she's a great cook. Oh, then she's best girl. <laughs> she's, and the, well, but no, the Batomio was also a great cook, so no, she's best, she's still best girl. She's about to say something as she looks at my face again. Oh, I see. It's okay. She smiles faintly. Aw, that's cute. Motto taberu. I hear the lunch bell ring. In 15 minutes, this place will be crowded with students trying to study. She doesn't have much in that lunchbox anyway. I can't bring myself to take more. Sorry I bothered you. After saying that, I turn my back to her. I know she's hesitant about saying something. That's all I hear. I raise my left hand in answer before leaving the library. Okay. That was... It was interesting. I return to the classroom and look for Sunohara, but I don't see him. Guess I'll go eat lunch alone. Cafeteria is crowded. Oh, we meet Nagisa again? Okay, nope, I can't be president of the drama club, Nagisa. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, listen. <laughs> I love the sound of Sunohara getting kicked like 20 times, all right next to each other. Kyo's on her bike, and she ran over us. Okay, it's the 17th. Oh, nothing. Cool. <laughs> we don't have to do anything to get on the Kyo route here. Let's go and watch. <laughs> I like Sunohara getting kicked. <laughs> Let's follow him. <laughs> Good latch! <laughs> He's, he is. When Tomoyo kicks him, he is always asking for it. Alright, uh, what's this for? English grammar again. It's just a pop quiz that we do in, so let's skip class. Oh no, we don't even get the option. Ryo makes us stay anyways. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> then we get the... <laughs> I hear Okazaki is bye. <laughs> that was a great scene. A waste time inside of school? Uh, yeah. We're gonna sleep. There's Fuko. Uh... <laughs> Just leave. Uh, <laughs> Fuko seems to be so frightened, so maybe I should just leave her alone. Sorry I startled you. I'll be leaving now. Leaving behind those words, I step out of the classroom. Aw. <laughs> you typed in the words, aw, Fuko, and my, my, my Twitch automod is like... <laughs> Oh, this might be a risky thing, because <laughs> apparently Fuko uh, is spelled very similar to a naughty word. <laughs> Twitch Automod, you're the best. <laughs> My drowsiness suddenly disappears. I could go home, then to the shopping arcade. And once it gets dark, I guess I'll just go to Sunohara's room. <laughs> you didn't say anything or all, no. <laughs> They're just like... This person typed in Fuko. Did they mean the F word? It's like, no, I'm pretty sure they didn't. <laughs> oh, if you if you want to actually get away with saying the F word, just type in Fuko. <laughs> Fuko, yeah. Hey, Masai. <laughs> what was that? Oh, yeah, that was her drop kicking uh, Sunohara. <laughs> it is the 18th. Okay, I don't even have to do anything for the Kyo route until later. Cool. Uh, this is for... No... OBS, don't disconnect! Uh, OBS just... 
turned off all of a sudden and I had to reboot it. So we should be good now. And I, I was recording the whole time, and this will be up on YouTube, so you won't miss anything. It is back up, though, now, I think. Yeah, okay, good, it's, it's back up. Alright, he's really an idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, please do try to seduce Tomio and go bowling. <laughs> Alright, this time we're gonna dodge. I casually move out of the way. Slide. Crash. He slides across the corridor and crashes headfirst into the wall. Ouch. He immediately gets back up and double times it back over here. <laughs> eh, wow, you're actually fine. Oh, that doesn't that doesn't make any difference. Oh no, then we're gonna kick him back. Makes a better combo. <laughs> okay, um, we've done both of these. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna try to harass Rio at all. <laughs> all right, Kyo. Yeah, she's asking me. Okay, are there any girls you like? And the answer is um, yes, but I can't tell her. Reference room. Wait. Oh yeah, reference room. Let's go to sleep. And here we meet Yukine. Ah, uh, what's she doing here all alone? I can't remember what I did last time. I think I think I talked to her more. Guess I'll take my leave. I stand up and turn in the direction of the entrance. Yeah, class is about to start. Shouldn't you hurry too? Well then, see you. Thanks for the coffee. With that said, I walk away, leaving the reference room behind. I kind of want to learn more about her. My sister is like, she, she's a girl that right now doesn't really interest me, but my sister's like, her root is so good. So maybe I'll do that in the future as well. It was such a good place to sleep, but I can't go there anymore with that girl around. No, you can. You can, you can do that. Okay. Oh wait, no, that's not right. I want to return to previous choice. Still hang out with you can anymore. Talk to her a bit more. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Such a good place to sleep. Wait, <laughs> really? We still get the option to just sleep again? Wow. All right. Uh, I just I still that. <laughs> Yoshi autograph. <laughs> Let's sleep. I'm not the kind of man to back down on my word. I'll sleep here no matter what. I lie down on the floor. The chilly tiles startle me at first, but it doesn't take long for my body to get used to the temperature. I wake up. How long did I sleep for? My eyes turn to the clock. School is already over. Shit, I didn't make it to homeroom. I force my body to stand up. As I do, I notice the girl is already in the room watching me. Uh, that's kind of creepy. Her name is Miyazawa, I think. Yeah, morning. No longer matters if I rush back to the classroom or not. I roughly scratch my chest and throw my butt down on the chair. Yeah, sure. She closes her book and stands up. She then steps toward the window and stops to stand in, uh, in front of a shelf on which an electric kettle is placed. Drip, drip. Hot water is dripping into the coffee pot. Shortly after, the scent of steamed coffee beans drifts throughout the room. It's quite a tantalizing aroma. I like her voice. She's got a very nice voice. A cup of coffee along with a saucer is put in front of me. Gracias. <laughs> Espanol. I raise my hand to pick up the cup and bring it to my lips. <sighs> I always love the coffee you make. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> what's there to feel embarrassed about? I'm just telling you the truth. <laughs> Aww. Perhaps feeling too shy to face me after what I've just said, she stands up from the chair. Then she walks over to the window. <laughs> oh, snap, bringing out the... <laughs> Oof. I guess so. Very well, it's been a while anyway. Let's go out, just the two of us. 
Wow, wait, hang on. I don't want to go on her route just yet. Well, stop. What is this? Some kind of couple's play on a Sunday morning? Hi. This is the reference room, right? Hi. I didn't expect this place to be so dangerously relaxing. Ooh, I love this music. To be honest, though, that's all thanks to her being here. Stop playing along with whatever I say, will you? I'll just get carried away. Hi. I pour the rest of my cup down my throat. Good coffee. Well then, thanks for treating me. Hi. <laughs> we'll bring Sunohara and he'll be kind of creepy. Is she trying to make a circle of old book lovers or something? Or old book lovers? Well, maybe. When I feel like it. With that said, I walk away, leaving the reference room behind. She is very sweet. I do like that. I return to the classroom, but Sunohara is still MIA. B but I thought school was over! <laughs> he can go have fun on his own. I leave the classroom alone. Uh, let's help Tomio. We don't actually get on the route until we say, like, I'm in love with Tomio. <laughs> Alright, what days? Okay, we don't have to do anything until the 21st. Alright. Um, let's have him stop it already. Let's stop taunting uh, <laughs> Tomio. And now we help out Kyo's boar, walk him home, except he runs off. And we're just like, oh, well, guess we he ran off, so I guess he'll go home on his own. And then we left, and we didn't let Kyo treat us to lunch. Uh, go to the old school building, go straight home. Let's go to the old school building. Oh, so we can go back to the library. We can go to the club rooms or to the reference room. Club rooms leads to Fuko. Library leads to Library Girl, who I still don't know who her name is. And then reference room gives us back to Yukane. Ah! I mean, out of these three, I like Yukane the most. But I kind of... I don't know anything about Library Girl, so let's... Do... No, apparently the game said no. You don't get to go to the Library Girl. Reference room. Guess we'll get more of the Yukane route. Descending down to the first floor, I stand before the door of the reference room and I sneakily peek inside. Oh, we had already seen that before. Okay. <laughs> Miss Ison still gives me the umbrella, second illusionary world, blah blah blah. Uh, okay, <laughs> let's ignore him, because I don't want to get on construction worker route just yet. Yeah, that was that is the part where Sunohara wants to flay the cat alive, <laughs> and we get invited to her room. Uh, I'm not going to come again, because I don't want to get on the Maasai route. Wake up like a good student. We're going to be late. And now, this is the part where... Yeah, this is where I, we're supposed to jump left, I think. Well, jumping left, we get another scene with Kyo. I haven't done the other options, though. Let's jump right. Ha! I dodge the pressure that's creeping up from behind me. Swoosh. A familiar long-haired girl flies by where I once stood. Perhaps it's just my imagination, but I think I heard a tisk as she passed by. Then the next moment... Wham! The person walking in front of me is sent flying into the air. For real? Kill hit somebody with her bike! <laughs> she just did a hit and run on some random stranger! What? You out of your mind? Vroom, vroom. The sounds of her bike's tailpipe grow farther and farther away. She actually drove off! The person she hit is lying on the ground, not moving an inch. Fearfully, I approach. Hey, you still alive? The person lying on the ground does not respond. This isn't good. When an acquaintance commits a crime, is it better to convince her to turn herself in? Or would it be better if I just kept my mouth shut, since there are no other witnesses? Nah, perhaps it's for the best if I just pretend this never happened and walk away. What? You, you think you were all terrible people? I'm gonna try shaking the person. Shake. Yeah, I suppose I can probably keep getting Kyo to treat me to lunch if I blackmail her over this. Hey, no! Hey, you! You okay? Answer me! I kneel down and lightly shake the motionless victim by the shoulder. It's quite slender. Could she be a girl? Hey? Twitch. Oh, did I see movement? Hey, you okay? 
I try shaking once again and pop. Oh, new person. I don't know who this is. Oh, or, ooh, are you a Christian? If so, you are best girl. <laughs> oh, maybe you're a dude. I don't know. <laughs> it's ambiguous. Whoa. You're alive? Okay, well, Kyo is... <laughs> I don't like Kyo, really. Honestly. <laughs> Kyo is a criminal. <laughs> uh, you were hit by a motorcycle. The victim's head tilts to the side of a mystified expression. Is this a girl? A guy? Doesn't look like there are any boobs. Or, I'm sorry, obobs. But the atmosphere and vibe that this person gives off feels rather strange. Again? You, you, this has happened before? The victim says as their hands clap together as if remembering what happened. Wait, again? No, they don't. <laughs> True, it's not as bad as getting run over by a car. You can handle that? You were sent flying, you know. Are you feeling all right? I see. That's great, then. Hmm? It's past ten. Uh-oh. Ah, hey! Before I could finish, the victim suddenly sped off. And rather quickly, too. Yeah, you can't be late for an interview. That's really bad. I wonder if that person's gonna be fine. Was it because they collided at just the right angle, or is it just because that person is very robust? In any case, it seems Kyo got out of this one without becoming a criminal. No, she's still a criminal. She still hits somebody. Even so, what a lively person. I let out a sigh, thanks to a person whose name I don't know, who had disappeared at the corner. Hmm? Suddenly, I notice a white envelope when I look down at the ground. Is this that person's... I look around, but no longer see anyone. In any case, I pick it up. On the corner of the envelope is the word RESUME in red letters. Yeah, I know what a resume is. That reminds me, that person did say they were going to an interview. But if that's the case, wouldn't it be problematic that they didn't have this? Even so, I have no idea where they could be, so it's not like I can give it back. That being the case, it would also make me feel bad to just leave something like a resume here. Find the address and give it back, or tear it up. I mean... <sighs> back. It feels kind of wrong, but it's not like I can just leave it behind like this. I take out the resume from the envelope. The handwriting is surprisingly poor. Uh... Name, blank. Age, blank two. Address, also blank. Telephone number, blank again. Education, employment history. Not a single thing is written on it. It probably hasn't been filled in yet. Well, on the right side, subject's good at. Lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like my kind of person. Subject's bad at. Homeroom. Motivation? Want money. You know what? That is... <laughs> Anytime someone at a job interview asks me, So why do you want this job? Well, I like money. <laughs> I kind of need it to survive. Interests? Not something I can tell people. <laughs> Current health? I'll sue if this is sexual harassment. <laughs> Strong points? I think guys should aim to be men. I'd hire this person. <laughs> What in the world is this self-appeal sentence supposed to be about? <laughs> Still, this handwriting is awful. The letters look so wrinkled like a bunch of worms. In any case, without anything that remotely resembles an address, I can't bring this to them. Without a choice, I fold the resume and toss it in my bag. Oh. <laughs> okay, just when I reach school, the bell for the end of second period rings. Ah, Tomoya! Hi, Tomoya! How's the person who I ran into? You have some nerve to ask me that. They almost died! No injuries, but what would you do if there were? Feeling? This girl is a psychopath! I don't want to do your route anymore! <laughs> 
I like how when I first met Kyo, I was like, you know what? Even though she's a bit of a Sundere, maybe she'll be a likable Sundere. And now she's just literally hitting people with her motorcycle. Doesn't care about if they die or not. Like, what the heck? Also, I'm pretty sure she's possessed by a demon in some way. I think we can say you are quite out of the ordinary yourself to know how it feels when you crush flesh and bones with your bike. Even if that were the case, don't you think it's more of a moral problem for you to run away like that? Um, that that's not at all okay. I heard that. That is quite a disturbing thing to say. <sighs> Could it be that she found out what happened to Botan on Saturday? Hey, you didn't... <laughs> hey, my boar ran away from you, so I'm going to try to kill you. That seems about right. Kyo says this as she laughs and then throws something at me. What's this? How in the world are you the good guy in this situation, Kyo? You're telling me to feel grateful to, for your thanks? I can't drink fruit milk. It makes me gag. Also, if you're offering your thanks, don't say in any case. You can't just buy people fruit milk. Or, uh, fruit milk? It said... Yeah, fruit milk. But now it says juice pack. Are, when they say fruit milk, are they just talking about juice? <laughs> With a smile on her face, she explains her absurd logic. I let out a deep sigh and raise my hand anyway to express my gratitude. <laughs> 